The following is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Seattle, Washington, weighing in at 175 pounds, Daryl Allen. You are looking at some highly motivated competitors in this match, looking to steal the show and capture the attention of the entire WWE Universe. A competitor who does not know the meaning of the word quit. He is ready for battle. And his opponents, first, from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 258 pounds, C.M. Punk. If this person spent as much time focused on their ring work as they do for standing up for what they believe in, they'd maybe be undefeated. Corey, I think sometimes a person's courage and character speaks louder than their record. Really? Show me the last time someone got a title match because of their courage and character. Cody Rhodes is retired. A man who changed the entire wrestling world and is now ready to prove himself again in the WWE. Multiple tag team and intercontinental championship reign during the first run here in WWE. But now that the prodigal son has returned, Cody Rhodes has reached main event status. Certainly an accomplished career his first time around. And many would say this version of Cody Rhodes is completely transformed and set to take over the main event picture of WWE. The superstars are in the ring. The bell is ringing. All the rules are out the window. This is an ODQ match. You can tell these superstars have been eagerly awaiting this. They wanted to duke it out in a no-limit situation. So now, if they can think it, they can do it. Oh, he retaliates. like this is when we see how merciless someone can be. What will this come down to? This is about who can weather the storm. A superstar can attack at will here. Everything is a weapon. That is what makes this so dangerous. It's anything else. There are no limits here. And it can be chilling to see the lengths someone's willing to go to to destroy another human being. 
And by chilling, I mean beautiful. Applied. Down for a European arm breaker. Running bulldog. He must have had that scouted. Well, that's one way to leave the ring, I suppose. He's absorbed some damage already. Oh, man. Spine crushing impact. He's back into the ring. Oh, right to the throat. Nasty. Landing on the spine. Cody has him up. Third breaker. Cody sizing him up, getting ready. Rose looking to end this. Rose. Cody Rose nailed it. He breaks the pin. Big form. Hurricanrana. Not the position you want to be in right now. the ring now. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. He might get caught. He'll head to the ring. Oh, what a close line. Forcefully delivered. Drop. Beautiful. Caught with the lariat. Count. And now they're jumping. these guys in action. Here is your winner, Daryl Allen. What a performance. Huge win here in this triple threat match. This was an unpredictable one, but when it was all said and done, only one man could be left standing. One man out of three. It was always bound to lead to a little chaos. The following contests 
is a triple threat tag team match. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 493 pounds, the Raw Tag Team Champions, Jimmy and Jay, the Usos. Here come the ones. Yeah, that's it. Before joining the Bloodline, they were already considered an all-time great team, but now they've proven it beyond a shadow right, of a doubt. Yeah, unifying the Raw and SmackDown tag titles, the longest tag title reign in WWE history, that is more than enough proof. Corey? Hey, you want some? No. Your loss. to him. Well, it's just the fact that Finn Balor's finally been able to free himself of any limitations WWE or the WWE fans have placed upon him. Yeah, well, I guess freeing himself of said limitations also translates into turning his back on the entire WWE Universe. Well, Boo-hoo, Byron. The results speak for themselves. Well, he attacks the body and the mind. The mark of a truly intelligent competitor. And oh, how he has developed a long, sadistic streak. I completely agree, Cole, and I completely enjoy it.
Damian Priest has arrived. The man who will bring judgment to all of WWE. And representing the Judgment Day from New York, New York, weighing in at 249 pounds, Damian Priest. No longer cares for the WWE Universe, no longer cares for the rest of the locker room. Because he has found his true family, and the Judgment Day is their name. A look of pure disdain on the face of Damian Priest. Well, it's because he has passed judgment on the entire WWE Universe and has found them all unworthy. Tag Team Tornado match underway. Multiple teams facing off, but there will only be one winner. Everyone competing at once. You really need to know the status of your partner and every opponent in this match.
through the air. his team in the match. Cover here! Hit. A defiant kick out. He can end it here! He's got him! Oh. He Set up the Priest was right on target. We're going to see it way up there. That grabs him in the drop. Let's take another look at these guys in action. Here are your winners, Jimmy and Jay, the Usos. And Jay Uso is the one to put this one away for the team. Love them or hate them, you know they did everything they could to earn this win. An absolute in-ring phenom. Already so much success and limitless expectations for the future. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, the NXT champion, Braun Breaker. He has been absolutely dominant in NXT. Beat every big name that tried to take his throne. Yeah, I see his WWE career following the same pattern, Michael. You don't need to be a math major to realize that tonight spells disaster for Braun Breaker's opposition. Or the entire WWE locker room. An excellent high flyer with an amazing family lineage. But now is looking to make his name at his family's expense. And his opponent representing the Judgment Day. From San Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds, Dominic Mysterio! Now look at a step out of his father's shadow, Dominic Mysterio, hoping to go it alone. It's just so sad, guys. It's almost as if Dominic feels the Mysterio name is like a burden for him. Regardless of which name he chooses to identify with, Dominic inherited natural ability from his father. It's time for Dom to use it on his own terms. What amazes me about Dominic Mysterio is that he says he has absolutely no regret about his new direction. Well, I happen to be extremely proud of Dominic and feel that he should be proud of himself. Ever since his baptism by fire into the world of wrestling, Dominic Mysterio has continued to impress. I don't think there's any question that he has near limitless potential. Oh, I have to agree, Michael. Dominic has a natural gift for working between the ropes, and he rapidly adapted to the challenges of being a WWE superstar. Yeah, Mysterio is a rising star who continues to become more confident with every match. Now let's hope he's ready for the absolute physical dominance of Braun Breaker. It'll be no easy task, Saxton. Braun Breaker hit the WWE ring at full speed and hasn't slowed down. A paragon of athleticism. It's hard to match not only Breaker's strength, but his speed and agility as well. Standing moonset. 
moonsault. You really have to be confident in your athletic ability to pull off a standing moonsault like that. He may be in a bad way here. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder right here. Corey, we've seen the immense success Braun Breaker has already achieved. That has to be a tremendous amount of pressure to maintain this sort of trajectory. Yeah, a big knockdown. Oh, looking for it. Back body drop. Oh, spinebuster. My, oh, my. And Dominic could be moments away from doom. Display. This is absolutely incredible. Boom! Military press power slam. Dominic in crisis mode. And this one is over. And here's another glance at these superstars in action. Here is your winner. A pretty easy day at the office right there. Never a doubt. Barely a moment's suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come. The Tribal Chief has arrived. He's the first ever undisputed WWE Universal Champion. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first from Pensacola, Florida, Weighing in at 265 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns. Well, here is the merciless leader of the bloodline. <laughs> yeah, you could make the argument that the bloodline is perhaps the most dominant group in the history of WWE. I think you're right, Saxton. Roman put his entire family on his back and has since pushed them all to incredible heights. He's achieved things that most only dream of. Just piles of championships. He made the long climb up the mountain and shoved everybody else off of it. By the looks of things, Roman Reigns is ready to continue his unparalleled domination. The WWE Universe just exploded! And his partner from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 275 pounds, Scott Steiner! Matches like these, with talent of this caliber, this is why sports entertainment is an art form. A guy who treats every match as if it's the biggest one of his career. He definitely plans to steal the show tonight.
Gentlemen, I think a fight's about to break out. And from Sacramento, California, weighing in at 274 pounds, Brian Case. The confidence and zeal this person has in the ring is frankly a little unnerving. It's like nothing intimidates them. They do seem totally unafraid of any opponent. Look, I hope you gentlemen are not being facetious and are truly giving this fearless competitor their props. He calls himself the standard bearer of this division and plans on proving it in a matter of moments. Lucha Libre legend in the flesh has an undeniable legacy in sports entertainment. And from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, Rey Mysterio. A former world champion, WWE champion, Royal Rumble winner, Rey Mysterio has made a career out of stepping up. And the bell is rung, getting this tag match started. When you think of tag teams that are itching to make an impact on tonight's event, you don't have to look any further than these two. Two teams with a desire to steal the show. Textbook jumping clothesline. Oof. Ah, oh, look at, look at this, backbreaker. Followed up with a... Oh, what a slam. Uh-oh, wheelbarrow into a wheelbarrow neck breaker. Oh, man. He didn't need that eyebrow anyway. He's ejected from the ring. Ooh. Ooh. Hazardous part of town here on the apron. On the apron. The hardest part of the ring. They're slamming their face down. Back suplex. No. Driven down. Needed the midsection into the pump handle. Here we go. X Factor. back into the ring. What a clothesline! Ouch! Setting up neck breaker position. Oh, forearm to the back. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? I guess he thinks the one thing missing in this match is a steel chair. He's turning the tables. 
run out of ringside and back to the mat. They need to be aware of a count out right now. Got the tag. Got the tag. Eight. Sends the knee into the face. That'll stop you. seen in the match would have already ended most superstars. The level of resilience we're seeing is off the charts. Ray turns that around. Oh, oh cut off the win. Guillotine applied. I have no idea how he has it. Oh, and he saves his partner there. Man, that one was in tight. He may get the three count right here. This is it. He's able to beat a 
two count. I am shaking my head in disbelief over how he managed to get the shoulder up. No surprise that what we're witnessing is trending. Forget trending on social media. The motion in the arena is charting on the Richter scale. He gets tagged in. Reigns gets out of harm's way. put on quite a show. Here's another look. Here are your winners. Scott Steiner and Roman Reigns. Impressive victory for the team, especially Roman Reigns, who really helped put this one away. The wrestling gods have truly blessed this union. I fully expect to see more showings like this going forward from this duo.
Johnny Wrestling has become Johnny Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Cleveland, Ohio. Weighing in at 199 pounds, Johnny Gargano. Gargano is no stranger to success. He's main event at some of the biggest events in NXT history. And Johnny's well equipped to continue that upward trajectory on the main roster. It's time for Johnny Wrestling to show the world why he earned the nickname. And I cannot wait to see it. Make way for the Irish ace. This is going to be good. And his opponent from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds, J.D. McDonough. J.D.'s recently proven very difficult to beat because of his incredible threshold for pain. Does this guy not freak you out? I mean, he signed an NXT Championship contract oh, in go. blood. Yeah, disturbing with a, a quiet intensity, right? Ferocious thoughts that will turn to disturbing actions. Yeah, those disturbing actions include dismantling the human body, utilizing pressure points, joint locks, and ligaments that can tear tendon from bone. Yeah, J.D. McDonough loves putting the human brain and body through severe trauma. This guy is pure evil. Listen, he'll attack if he senses even the slightest fear or trepidation. Hey, JD, JD, fear and trepidation to my left. Look at Saxton. Quiet, Corey. Throughout his journey in professional wrestling, Johnny Gargano has faced his share of adversity. He's even said people bet on him to lose because of his size, because he maybe doesn't look the part of the typical WWE superstar. Being told no by so many people over and over has only hardened Gargano's resolve. He made it his mission to prove all those people wrong, and now here he is at the top of his game, competing against the best in the world. Hard work and mental toughness has paid off for Johnny so far, that's for sure. And he'll be looking to find an answer for the Irish ace, J.D. McDonough. His unforgiving strikes and incredible Mac technique have put the WWE roster on notes. Yeah, Corey, not to mention... No way! Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spitting in the face of danger. This fight is going down right in front of our faces. More up close and personal than I'd like to be. And that was an efficient form of offense with that. Right in front of the referee. That'll be a blatant disqualification. He is the alpha male of our species. And Lesnar looking to dominate. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Weighing in at 295 pounds. Brock Lesnar's been a dominant force his entire career. Brock Lesnar has made a career out of steamrolling whoever has dared get in his way.
You think there's any limit at all to the carnage that's to come here tonight? Oh, Saxton, you know better. We should expect nothing short of total decimation. Of course, Lesnar's never one for holding back. The Beast wins decisively. The Beast wins by ripping guys apart. And his opponent, from Panama City, Florida, weighing in at 200 pounds, Adam Cole. Gentlemen, this has all the makings of an all-time classic match, and I fully expect it to deliver on that promise. Defeating Lesnar? Well, you can almost write your ticket to becoming a legend. A task few have been able to accomplish, and many have fallen to the beast. With a ring of the bell, Brock Lesnar is looking to get things going here. Possibly one of the most destructive forces we've ever seen in WWE. We know the lengths the Beast is willing to go to to secure the victory. Well said, Cole. Lesnar has been a dominant force in every realm he stepped foot in. The pure athleticism and desire to win is what makes him so destructive. Well, that and his inhuman size and strength. We could sit and discuss what makes Brock Lesnar such a force all night, but I'm expecting he'll show us in the ring soon enough. Coming into this fight, his opponent's been boasting a new, more aggressive attitude. We'll have to see if that new approach will produce any dividends. Uh -oh. Close line to the back of the neck. He's taking some good hits. An example of the destructive force that only Brock can bring. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Knee right to the gut. Whoa, not quite yet. Oh, low drop kick right on the patella. Big forearm. Oh, a costly error there. Fisherman suplex, nice. Oh, foot just stomping down. In my opinion, what makes Brock so dangerous is the fact that he knows just how good he is. That really allows him a mental edge that I'm not quite sure of how you overcome when you're in the ring with him. The key, if you can survive long enough, is patience, Cole. Lesnar's been known to play with his food rather than take the easy W. And that, in turn, can leave him somewhat vulnerable. And did you hear the impact of that? Okay, consider that a harsh lesson. That's the kind of devastating move that Brock has put away so many of his opponents with. The Beast and Carter looking to end this. Lesnar. Let's take another look at these guys in action. Here is your winner, Brock Lesnar! This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. 
That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat. has arrived ready to pass judgment on the women's division the following contest is scheduled for one fall making our way to the ring representing the judgment day from Adelaide Australia Rhea Ripley Judgment Day has arrived for the entire women's division. Yeah, Ripley was already a dominant competitor, but that dominance has grown exponentially since joining the Judgment Day. She's already held the NXT Women's title, the WWE Women's Tag titles, and the Raw Women's title. What could be next for Ripley? And the Eradicator about to pass her judgment. Make way for the evil genius of the sky. And an evil genius who is now in control. And representing damage control from Tokyo, Japan, Io Sky. EO Sky's list of titles in Japan is a mile long across every major women's division. Now here in WWE, EO has continued that success, but she has something now she didn't have then. She has control. EO Sky made her mark in NXT history as one of the most accomplished superstars in the brand's entire history. Yeah, but Io's change in attitude and her new allies ensure even more success in WWE. Rhea Ripley has truly become the walking embodiment of brutality. She displays the viciousness that's just on another level. When you get in the ring with Ripley, things are guaranteed to get ugly. And that's just the way she wants it. Rhea has fully embraced the darkness inside her and unleashes it on her opponents to great effect. But the suffering... And she goes for the pin. And quick getting the arm up. Still a ways to go in this match based on that. She did her homework there, and well-timed maneuver there. Oh, oh. Ripley avoids the attack. Across the top rope, all the way to the floor. She heads out of the ring. An interesting strategy. In your opinion, what's it going to take for Rhea Ripley to get the win here in this match? I think Rhea needs to try and find the mental advantage. She needs to get inside the opponent's head and be a nightmare for them. If she can get them rattled, she'll be well on her way to victory. Electric chair! Oh, this is scary. Oh, an electric chair face. 
face buster. Ripley fully unleashing her inner darkness. Looking to inflict as much. Ripley has things right where she wants them. Here we go. With the rip time. Uh, goes into the pin. Hard-fought victory, incredibly physical matchup, but earned the right to celebrate here tonight. Wait, this is more fun than celebration. Oh, this from behind. More fun. This is classless. So these two longtime allies are going to go one on one here tonight. Match is underway. A little jaw jacking to start between these two friends. And maybe some good sportsmanship to start off. Uh, sportsmanship is out the window tonight, Saxton. This is about winning. Well, I thought these two liked each other. I guess not. Uh, Cole, we've said it a million times. In this business, you either make friends or you make money. You can't have both. And now with things underway, it looks like we'll see if that show of disrespect we just saw has any bearing on the outcome of this one. Look, Cole, it's just business here. No need for the niceties or handshakes or hugging it out. I'm just pointing out a lack of common courtesy here, Corey. It's all competition, Cole. Don't forget that. The time for niceties can be after the belt, if they so choose to see fit. I guess when you're told you're the guy, you start thinking you're the guy because... Oh, he gets what he deserves for all that gloating. And I have to wonder, Corey, what would Austin Theory's game plan be for this matchup? We know he's got a lot of raw talent, but that can't always get the job done. Fair point, Cole, which is why Theory needs to rely on more than just said raw talent. He needs to rely on his in-ring smarts. If he can put together his brains and run. Taking flight. Tremendous drop kick. Face lock applied. Draping their opponent over the top rope, and it's gonna get worse. Bye. There is any momentum here. Can Theory ride out this outpouring? Uh oh. Double foot stop. The champ looking out of sorts. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. You know, I've noticed some friction lately between these superstars. Well, you can't be friends with everybody. I've noticed the same. There's definitely something of a rivalry here. Stop! Stop! The time is in jeopardy here! I think the paradigm is shifting. for the brand new champion who just knocked off their buddy. The champ understandably feels like they are on top of the world with good reason. What a win. Right, it seems like the champ is taking their victory a little too far here. Bragging about it to their friend who will try oh! to show some sportsmanship. That was really uncalled for. We get it, you won.
Logan Rollins has arrived. The outfits, the outrageousness, there's nobody like Seth freaking Rollins. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins! A decade of being WWE's freaking workhorse and the WWE Universe is finally singing his praises. And the WWE Universe serenading Rollins with his battle hymn. Time for Seth freaking Rollins to conduct another masterpiece. Mr. WrestleMania, the showstopper, and his opponent. From San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 227 pounds, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels! I don't believe there's been a greater performer in the history of WWE than this man, the Heartbreak Kid, Mr. WrestleMania, Shawn Michaels! Without question, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, has paved the way for countless superstars here in WWE. It may be popular nowadays, but no one has used the super kick quite as well as HBK. And none have ever done it better. Seth Rollins looking for the all-important victory here. While Seth might be the best-dressed superstar in the WWE, it's pretty obvious how fragile the psyche of Rollins has been these days. Do you think his impeccable fashion sense is a cover for that level? Despite your fixation on his fashion, Martin, you actually made a great point about the fragile mindset of Seth Rollins. And with Shawn Michaels, there is something in him that drives him. Uh-oh. Slingshot across body? That was ridiculous. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Whoa. Going fast and living dangerously. Two. Oh, don't come over here. Cole, quit. You sacked him with a human shield. Four. Now would be the time for everyone to clear out. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. <laughs> and Michael's unable to defend himself. Yeah, Rollins looks sharp there. Physically, mentally, and fashionably. Ooh, knee right to the spine. Make your legs go numb. Four right across the back of the neck. And if you're Shawn Michaels, you gotta think this is just another night at the office, right? Yeah, yes and no. HBK can and has taken many a beating. Shawn never lets the pressure get to him, and he always seems to find a way to... Uh-oh! Cross face! Oh, body is not meant to bend that way! For the love of God, submit! Fight again! Live to fight another day! Watch out! Barrel roll, Tope! 
Just a devil-may-care attitude on full display. I think we know what Rollins is thinking. No! Stop! Rollins just turned the lights out. Something's about to go either very wrong or very right. If this lands, it's over. All the way to the outside. And that was a collision you don't want to be on the receiving end of. Came down like a wrecking ball on a cinder block. He's getting up, but there's danger in front of him. Look at this. Right. Oh, Tote, what? That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. That's it. Yeah. Pedigree. Perfectly orchestrated offense. Rollins' mind is certainly in the game now. Everyone get out of the way. These oh, he's setting him up. Oh, no. This is, this is going to be bad. Guys, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Kick to the gut. This is going to be bad. Down through the table. We're officially in a state of chaos now. Oh, monitors are everywhere. Pieces of the announce table are in the first row. Yeah, I'd say chaos is the right word. HBK can turn this around. Just ruthless. Superstars have endured so much punishment. They're looking worse for wear, but the tide can shift at any moment.
Headed up, he's thinking back. Up high. Oh, got caught. Scoop slam sets things up. You gotta wonder if Michaels can fight his way back into this. Stand anything to survive the page torn from his own playbook. Seth Rollins in deep thought, hoping to conjure one last move to win this. Oh, taking it right to him. No waiting. HBK, high risk. Blast off. Double double. That was terrible, Byron. It sure stopped for harnessing the energy in the house. where you really have to weigh the costs against the benefits. With a win like this, things have got to taste a little bittersweet right about now. Actually, Saxton, I imagine the win tastes a lot more like pennies. 